Opinion Writing. This week, we are going to complete five different mini lessons on getting ready for writing our opinion. This week, at the end of each of the mini lessons, you will then upload a screenshot of your notebook page in which you completed the activity that goes along with each mini lesson. What is opinion writing? Well, what is an opinion? You may sometimes hear the word persuasive writing, which is almost the same thing as opinion writing. The main difference is that persuasive writing doesn't just give an opinion, it tries to convince the reader to think or do something differently. There's all different types of opinion writing, but there are four main types. There's advertisements, product or book reviews, editorials, which could also include writing letters and textbooks, and opinion essays. Opinion writing can take many different forms. The purpose of our writing is determined by who the writing is for. Have you ever tried to convince your parents to do something or allow you to do something? Of course you have. Today we're going to hear a great example of persuasive writing called Click Clack Moo Cows That Type. And it is written through a series of letters. As you hear the story, pay particular attention to how the cows are trying to persuade the farmer. Click, clack, moo. Cows that type. Written by Doreen Cronin. Pictures by Betsy Lewin. And read by Auntie Lee. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears, click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. At first he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible! Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold, too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk. No eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type? Hens on strike? Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. Your cows and hens, I demand, milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, 
We will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we'll send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. The next morning he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. So, we all have strong opinions about different things and lots of areas where we would like to persuade others to think the way we think. Today, you're going to create a list of persuasive topics that you will eventually write about. In your notebook, Create a graphic organizer that looks like the one on this page. Under each category, here's our categories, my home, my school, my hobbies, the world. You are going to list some potential topics under each category that you can write about. For example, under home. Under home, you should list topics that you would like to convince your family about. And under school, list the things that you would like to change about your school. Try to come up with as many ideas as you can. If they're your ideas, they're going to be a lot easier to write about. If you're stuck, I do have some ideas to help you get thinking. For instance, here are some ideas that you can add to your list of topics. Keep this list in your notebook. You're going to upload a picture of your topics to today's lesson, and we're also going to reference these as we continue to learn about opinion writing this week. So for my home, some of the topics that you could come up with are, can I have an iPhone? Should children have chores? Can I have a pet? What type of animal makes the best pet? Can I have a later bedtime? Can we build a pool? Should children receive an allowance? Can we go on a family vacation? Topics about school. Should schools have a soda machine? Should students have homework? Should students be retained if they fail their state test? Should students wear uniforms to school? Can we get new playground equipment? Should we have more field trips? My hobbies. Should students take music lessons? Should children participate in sports? Should children be allowed to drive dirt bikes? Should children be allowed to play video games? Should boys and girls play on the same sports teams? The world. Should children be allowed to vote? Should college athletes be paid for playing a sport? Should the driving age be raised to 18? Should there be a tax on junk food? Should there be any zoos? Again, come up with some topics that interest you that you're going to be writing about. When you're done, and you should have at least five or six different topics under each of the categories, then take a picture and upload it 